Welcome to another training session of the PLC programming in the TIA portal. In today's session, we will see how we can connect and read data from the RFID scanner with the S7-1200 PLC. Let's first see the wiring diagram for today's project. In today's project, we are using an RFID scanner with serial data output. We have tested two wiring configurations. In the first diagram, we have connected directly RS232 serial RX and TX lines of the RFID module to the RS485 CB1241 card of the S7-1200 PLC. We have also tested the communication by inserting the RS232 to RS485 converter in between RFID scanner and CB1241 card as shown in the second diagram. Now let's go to the TIA portal software, create a new project, and add a CPU in it. Next, open the properties of the CPU, and here, you can see the IP address of the PLC. It is 192.168.0.1, we will keep this IP address as it is. Next, we have to activate the system byte, and clock memory byte of the PLC. We will enable the system memory bits, next we will enable the clock memory bits. We will use these bits later in this project. Next we will add the CB1241 communication card in the PLC. We will search the CB1241. Select and drag and drop onto the PLC. Now the communication module is added into the project. Next if we open the received message configuration, the message can be started with any character. And if there is no message for the 200 milliseconds, it will be considered as end of the message. Next if we open the system constants, here you can see the hardware identifier for the RS485 port which is 269. We will use this port number later in this project. Next we will go to the program blocks, and add a new DB in it. We can rename this DB as data buffer. Next we will create two strings to store the received data over RS485 module. In received string, we will store the received characters. Next we will extract the required characters from the received string, and store in the filtered string. Next we will create an array of characters, this array will hold the received message characters in it. Next we will go to the OB1, and drag and drop, the port config function on the ladder. This function will configure and initialize the RS485 port of the PLC. In the request input of the config function, we will assign the first scan flag bit. It will be on in the program for one scan of the PLC. Next we will enter the local port number 269 to configure RS485 port. Next we will enter 6 in the baud input of the PLC. 6 means 9600 baud rate. Next we will enter 1 in the parity, 1 means no parity. Next we will enter 1 in the data bits, 1 means 8 data bits. Next we will enter 1 in the stop bit, 1 means 1 stop bit. Rest of the inputs we can keep as it is. In network number 2, we will make logic to receive the data from the RS485 port. We will drag and drop the receive PTP function on the ladder. First we will insert the always true bit in the enable input of the receive function, this will keep enable the receive function. Next we will enter the local port number 269 to start receiving data from the RS485 port. Next we'll enter the data buffer array in the buffer input, so that whatever characters we receive from the RS485 port, get stored in this array. Next we can use the NDR output bit, to indicate the new data has received. In network 3, we will convert the received characters array, to the string of characters. We will drag and drop the char to string function on the ladder. Enter the data buffer array at the char's input. Next we will enter 10 in the count input, this means that, string will be created from the first 10 characters in the buffer array. Next we will assign the data buffer received string at the output of this function. This conversion function will store the output string in this data buffer string. Now we have a string of the characters, 
with unique starting and ending characters, to indicate the start and end of the message received over RS-485 port. Now we have to remove these starting and ending characters. We can do this easily using the mid function. First we will enter the data buffer string at the input of this function. Next we will enter the number of characters we want to extract, in our case we will extract 8 characters. Next we will enter the starting point for the extraction in the string, we will enter 2, this means, that this function will extract 10 characters from the string, starting from the second place in the string. Now the programming is done, we can upload the program into the PLC and test the logic.